Hi, in this video, I'm going to go through five different questions and we'll be using the best instructions like load, store, add, sub, input, and output. So for the first question, it wants us to store hexadecimal number 2 into label x. So at first, we have to declare a label x. Now, it doesn't matter if you want to put it as decimal 0 or hex 0. It works both, both ways. Then we want to load the hexadecimal number 2 into the AC, right? We are not allowed to do something like load 2 because this is not loading the number 2 into the AC. It's loading the value of address 2 into the AC. So this is not allowed. In order to do this, we have to declare another label 2 storing the hexadecimal number 2. Now we can just write log 2 and we get the hexadecimal number 2 into the AC and we just store it in label x. Now we can check this with the watch list. For label 2 as address 003 and value 2, right? So for log 2, it basically loading the value of address 2 into the AC and we'll this store instruction will store the value of AC in 2x so after we run this you'll see that the value becomes 2 for label x for the next question it wants us to store x plus 1 into label y now we need a new label y right so we just declare another label since we need the value of x we have to first write log x and we need to add this by 1 so we have to declare another label so 1 storing the hexadecimal number 1 now since the ac is the value of x right we will add this by 1 and store it in y now when we assemble this, you see that it will load the value of address x, which is 2, into the AC and add it by 1, which is adding the value of address 1 into the AC. So now the AC is storing hexadecimal number 3 and we will store it in Y. And that's it. Now this question is pretty similar to the previous one. You just need to load x, subtract, just change add to sub, subtract it by 1 and store it in y. So after we run this program, you'll see that y becomes um, 1. Because 2 minus 1 is 1, right? Yeah, you'll see that value becomes 1. Now this question tells us to let user input a number x and output x minus 1. So first we need to use the instruction input. This input will prompt the user for a value and the value will be stored in the AC and the input register. Since the AC is storing the input value, we need to add it minus it by 1, right? So you still subtract 1 and output because this output instruction will output the value in, in this accumulator. So when we run this, you'll see that this program is prom prompting the user to input a value. So for example, if I want to input value 3, and this should output a 2, right? Because 3 minus 1 is 2. And yeah. It's up outputting the hexadecimal number 2. Now for the last question, we have to combine all this load, add, store, subtract, and input output for this last question. At first, we need to let the user input x, right? So input. And we work on this. So x minus 1, we will let the user input x and we will subtract it by 1. Now we have to multiply x minus 1 by 2, right? But we don't have the 
multiply instruction in Marie. So we have to create a temp label so that we can store this x minus 1 into the temp. And we add it at this time again. The reason for this is because 2 times x minus 1 minus 1 equals to x minus 1 plus x minus 1, right? So when user input a number like probably 2 and it subtracted by 1, the AC is now 1 and we will store it in temp. When we add temp again, the AC will be 2. So it's 2 minus 1 times 2 is 2. Now we have the 2 times x minus 1 in the AC, we want to add it by 1. So you just simply put at 1 and output. We can test this program. Okay, let's assemble this. So now it's prompting the user to input a value. I will type a value 8 here. You can see that the AC is storing the number 8 already. So we can just simply minus 1, sub 1. So now the AC is 7 and we will store it in temp. You can see that the value for temp changed to 7 now. And we add it again, which becomes 14 or E in hexadecimal number. And we want to add it by 1 and output it. So I'll pull up, we can see that it's 000F, which is equal to 15 in decimal number. Now the question is, what if you want to print something like 10 times x minus 1? If you use it that this way, if it, we need to add the 10 by 9 times right, which is really not efficient. So we need to use a loop in Marie. We'll be learning about loop in the next lesson, so stay tuned.